In question five, we have the network shown illustrating the activities involved in a process. They're represented by arcs. The numbers are given in time, or the time is in days to complete the activity. So what they want us to do is to complete an early and late stage time for each event and show them on this diagram here. A doesn't have any dependency, 10 nor does B, 4. We have a dummy arc or a dummy in this direction. C is 5, doesn't depend on anything, so we can put a 15 in there. 4 and this 4 will be 8. 10 is greater, so we're going to have to put a 10 in here. 10 and 9 going in this direction is 19, which is greater than 4 and 14. At the top, 15 going across with F. Now we do have another dependency down below, so we need to just be careful. 15 and 3, 18 in this direction is lower than 10 and 10, 20. 20 and this is J2, 22 is lower than 19 and 7. 26, 26 and 8 is 34, which is greater than the 30 coming across. And 34 and 5 is 39, which is greater than the 32 from the bottom. So 39 is the total here. If we go back on our critical path, we're coming from N, we're coming up from M, we're coming up from 19, we're coming along I back to 10 which came from the dummy at A. So our critical path here is A, then the dummy, along I, 19, K, 7, to go to 26, M, 8, to go to 34, N, 5, to go to 39, for this one. And we do the early times. Other late times we have 34 minus 15, 19, or 20 minus 3, 17. Later time will be 19. And then I probably should have gone J first 26 minus 2, 24. And down the bottom. 19 minus 14, this could start on day 5. There are the early and late times. The cascade chart, so we'll do a Gantt chart for it as well. So we're going from 0 to 39. A, I, K, M, N. So we have A, 10, 0 to 10. A, 0 to 10. Then we have I, which is 10 to 19. Then we have K, 19 to 26. Then M, 26 to 34. And then N, 34 to 39. So 39 for the total time. So if we look at A, B next. B is 0 to 4, but maybe it's got a bit of extra time, an extra 1, 0 to 4 with an extra 1 for B. Plus 1. C is 
10 starts at 10, ends at 15. So it's got a brace of 4. Up to 19. So C is 10 to 15. 10 to 15. C. Plus 4. They are time consuming. D, we don't have yet. D is starts at 4. Is four long? That would be eight. So a brace of two, four, four, two for D. Starts at four. Is four long? Get a plus two. E starts at four. Is fourteen long? So four to eighteen and a plus one. E four to eighteen plus one for E F starts at fifteen is fifteen long so fifteen to thirty with a plus four F fifteen to thirty with a plus four we said G starts at 15 as well, 15 to 18 with a plus 2, not a plus 2, 15 to 18 with a plus 6, G is 15 to 18 with a plus 6, 15 to 18 with a plus 6 for G. H is 10 to 20 and it's got a plus 4. H 10 to 20 with a plus 4. H 10 to 20. Plus 4. I is in the critical path. J is. Starts at 20 to 22 with a plus 4. J 20 to 22, 20 to 22 with a plus 4. K is in the original L, and then we have the M and N, so just J and L. L is 19 and 13, 19 to 32 with a plus 7. L is 19 to 32 with a plus 7. So that's what the cascade chart looks like. The questions for this one are at midday on the 16th, what must and may be happening on the 16th today? Let's have a look. Is my diagram accurate enough on the 16th today? We'll have to check C. So it looks like I definitely. E can't be pushed out. And H, E, H, and I, it looks like. It looks like G and F can be moved to the right and may be happening. And C could also be shifted here and maybe happening as well. So it looks like I, E, and H definitely. C, F, and G possibly for this gap chart question.